Welcome back to our Montenegro adventures. Today is day five. We are staying in the mountains of Montenegro and today we're going to be exploring the hidden gems. I'm Carol and this is Max. It's his birthday by the way. <laughs> and we hope you enjoy the video. The first stop today is Tara Canyon. It seems like it's gonna be a very, very busy hike due to that map over there where we've got 12 activities to do to include agility test. By the way, if you don't follow us on Instagram, make sure you do because you will see everything in advance. Let's get started. Haven't even started the hike and we didn't know where to go. <laughs> but it seems that this tree fell in the way, but it's definitely this way. Ow, my hair's stuck. <laughs> Our Christmas tree! <laughs> <laughs> Quick question. Do you think that is styrofoam or snow? <laughs> styrofoam. <laughs> styrofoam. <laughs> I was actually like confused. Come on tree. Somebody tried to get their Christmas tree and it was just too big. <laughs> Something we noticed and really important is that every hike and every path you go to in Montenegro, you're gonna see these red lines or it's a red circle with a white circle in the middle. It lets you know that you're going the right way. We've reached stop number one, Tier of Europe. It honestly took us two seconds to get here. <laughs> I guess we were right, there are wolves in this forest. We've literally just seen marks of little feet. <laughs> and these are not human feet. Are you sure it's the right way? Because like, I don't want to be following the fucking footsteps of the wolf. <laughs> like, so many hurdles to cross. There's literally a freaking log. I just saw something. Walking there, no lie. I emerged like <laughs> I emerged from the other side. Woo! Superhero landing. We just saw a baby deer. It was so cute, and it just ran away. But anyway, look at this. A bone. We are lost now. Seems that the red lines just disappeared. But we're going back now in hopes to see the magical red sign. I'm so out of breath. <laughs> this is really scary. We just found bare footsteps and it's not even a joke. Look at this. I'm trying to be quiet because I'm not sure if they, they're the most friendly, but hopefully you can see those. These don't look like a dog, nor a deer, or anything. With, oh, any noise now is just turning around. But we thought they would be hibernating, but it seems like they are awake. This was very unexpected. Oh, what's that noise? <laughs> I think those are bear claws. Destroyed the tree. Whew. Let's keep going. I think we have found the right path now. It took us about 20 minutes of just circling around the mountains looking for the path but I think onwards is the right way. Look at this massive log. A big step for humanity. This is just a joke now. What the hell? <laughs> we found 
a frozen lake. <laughs> Let's brush off the snow. I'm <laughs> making it worse. Oh, oh. oh my god, it's bleeding the paddle. <laughs> Look at the thickness of this ice. Oh! <laughs> I just slipped. Don't worry, he was safe the whole time. He was a very frozen one. Oh, <laughs> I say that and he's falling. Anyway, update, we've come the wrong way again. It's just we start walking up. up. So what else? It's just we start walking and then we forget to pay attention to <laughs> look for the red signs. So we just walk and then we're like, hmm, haven't seen a red sign in a while. And yeah, that's where we are now. And by the way, <laughs> Max fell over. <laughs> so if you see this, marks, <laughs> I literally fell on the floor. He skedaddled from there to there. <laughs> that's his butt. <laughs> we are lost again. Honestly, at the beginning, it said that the difficulty of this hike was low. But for us, it just seems like medium high. One eternity later. Guys, we have been hiking for two hours. I am not even kidding. And basically, remember when we had step number one, what do you have on the screen now? There was two paths, left and right. And we didn't know where to go, so we went left. And that's where we've been for two hours. And now we decided to just give up because we didn't know where we were going. We were like, it's gonna get dark in a bit. Let's go back. We are back to step one over there. And we decided to check out the right path and guess what we just saw? The actual signs. Before we were following the signs with numbers 37, 38, 35, thinking, oh, it must be this way. And now we actually see the red white red and that's what we've been seeing all throughout Montenegro so make sure that when you come to Montenegro always look for that red white red don't do like us and follow some silly steps because I'm pretty sure you will get lost <laughs> let's see if we can find number two now at this point we're not even sure anymore <laughs> we just reached in no less than five minutes step 12 <laughs> it's so confusing like what I'm telling you, the way we were going was definitely not right. And now we just reached this 12th number. The true experience. And with that, I think it's time to go back to the car. It officially took us two hours and 22 minutes to go from car back to car but we actually did 6.96 kilometers and the walk in the tire canyon was supposed to be six kilometers so we did do the length of the walk we just didn't go exactly on the points we were supposed to and we didn't get the views we were supposed to get but that's okay at least we got the workout in here we are tara bridge this is actually the largest vehicle arch bridge in the whole of Europe. The bridge is 172 meters above the Tower River. Shall we go take a look at the river? Let's do it! On one side you can see the river, beautiful color, and on the other side you've got the zip line. There is one going from there to there, and then if you see that green little house, there's another one, and it's very hard to see, but all the way to the top there's white on the grass, that's where the other one is. We just had our first interaction with the police. Yay! We got stopped. It was pretty chill. And he just let us go. He just said, where are you going? And we said, Zob Jacques. And then he said, tourist. And we said, yes. And he did, woo. So yeah, pretty good. Much better than Morocco. We felt very chill. <laughs> And to finish off today, day five, and Max's birthday, 
We're gonna finish off with some pasta and some Montenegrin wine. I think this is probably the only traditional thing that we're gonna try apart from beer. We're not alcoholics, by the way. We only try the alcohol, apparently. <laughs> now we cheers. Ching ching. Happy birthday. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on day six. six.